So from time to time, I get asked, how do I make money as a smaller YouTuber, at least compared to the bigger tech channels? And when you look at my social blade figures, you see that I don't really make a whole lot from ads, even though that is a big chunk of my money every month. I do make money from other things like affiliate links. Sometimes there'll be pre-roll ads. And of course, behind me, there will be things like this. And that is the used PC parts hustle. And today I'm going to take you guys through a behind the scenes whip up that I've got here. So I picked up these two builds really cheap of a friend called Luke, and that's going to be in a new episode of PC House Call. So you'll see that hitting the channel soon. So now for this build, we've got two cases here. One is a Rota K401. Never heard of the case before or the brand, but apparently it comes with tempered glass, three RGB LED fans and RGB LED strips. Now we picked that up for around about 85 Australian dollars, which would be like 60 something USD. And beside that is the new fractal design Focus G. I got this in white. Apparently that comes with two fans as well. So I actually haven't opened up either of these cases yet, so I don't know what's inside. But we're gonna pair that with a Vega 56 card and also a GTX 1080. Now I did pick these up for really good prices. And these are the cheapest uh, flat pack black cable power supplies I can get. I got these for around about $80 each. These are the Thermaltake Smart Power 550 watts. So all black cables make the build look really neat. So with that aside, let's start pulling these cases apart and then transplanting them into this new shin dig. So we've just unboxed both these cases here and this one doesn't have tempered glass, it's actually Perspex. Uh, so I'm very happy still with how they look, uh, but it's time to build these out. So we're gonna move over there where I've got a lot of room and I'm gonna start piecing out these builds. I'll show you what's inside them exactly and then we'll take them out and start putting them in both these builds. So now we're taking the builds apart, they're exactly the same as each other and you can see there's a 6700 and there's the R7 360 in both builds and there's that power supply as I was talking about before. Power supplies like this, they'll say they're 800 watt or whatever but you'll see the max there. So that won't be watts RMS which you'll see a capital W with a 500 watt for example, that means it's 500 watts continuous. Uh, that's usually with good power supplies. So, this is a pretty bad power supply, and as I said before, the case is very flimsy. So it's time to start taking all these parts out and then putting them into these builds here. Also on these builds, which is really good too, there's an SSD and there's a two terabyte hard drive. And you're probably wondering, how much did I pick these up for? Of course, that's probably a burning question. I got both these PCs, I swapped them for a GTX 1080 and 140 Australian dollars for both these PCs, four 24 inch 1080p monitors, and also four keyboard and mice. So I did get an extremely good deal, but we've got to still see if these uh, computers completely work out as well. So that took me about eight minutes to do. I've pulled those two PCs apart and I may use them a little bit later in this video, but we've got here the Focus G where that's up first. So we're gonna put a motherboard in there, power supply and graphics card. And I don't know why there's a pillow there. Maybe someone was watching TV on the floor. But, uh, so we've got this ready, let's do it. So before we do indeed do it, let's take a moment to check out today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. And on Storyblocks, you can get access to over 400,000 different images, vectors, or illustrations. And actually in today's thumbnail, I used one of these images. So you can go to the website, search gradients, get a high quality gradient, which I've been using for some time now. And I've also given to tech deals with a PSD file as well. So he's using some of Storyblocks' images and he doesn't even know it. And then you can make yourself some high quality footage. Also, if you're a journalist, this service is really good as well because you can go search for the image that you need related to your article and then use that image completely royalty free too. So Storyblocks definitely have you covered and you get a seven day free trial if you use the link in the description below. It's completely free for seven days, so you can trial the service, see if you like it or not. And if you do decide you like it, then it's only $99 a year, which is a really high quality service for what you're getting. Part of me, part 
word I want you to say. You haven't seen the best of me. So I just changed the thermal paste around and now I usually use alcohol wipes but I actually can't find them at the moment so I just did what I call a spit shine with some tissues and that'll do perfectly fine. So now it's time to do cable management and for cable management I'm a pretty simple guy. I just get the zip ties, uh, flat pack things down at the back, make sure everything's relatively neat and then at the uh, front of the case make sure everything's looking really good. Uh, some people go as far as to individually manage every single cable. That does take a lot of time. I just usually do the quick and dirty method that gets aesthetics at the front of the case. So here's the first build complete now and uh, it's looking pretty good. I mean those two sort of fan cables there are sticking out like a sore thumb. I'll probably rearrange them later but it looks pretty good for what it's worth because uh, while the sun's out I do want to bang out this next build as well and I did start this at like pretty late in the afternoon so let's continue on. Alright so this case I've just pulled it apart and that is a lot of plastic but also it does indeed have four RGB LED fans and you also get two magnetic RGB LED strips, so the good old code is looking like it's a pretty good value already. So we've now finished this second build and I've taken the side panel off because it does uh, have the RGB fans running. They do have the controller up the top here so you can change the lighting around. Uh, and also the fans, you can manually control them, the speeds. I think there's three speeds and off. So you can turn them off via the top panel here. So the only two little critiques about this case would be that the zip ties, the included zip ties are ridiculously small so you'd have to bring your own zip ties to the table. And the RGB LED strips, they're magnetic strips, but there's barely enough metal for them to stick on to the case. So I could only stick one on to the bottom and the side here. They just fell off the other panels. So besides that though, I mean, for the price and the money, like I think it's like 60 USD or something, it's hitting really hard for the money. So it's a little bit outlandish in terms of the looks too, but if you want something with RGB, four fans included, and the airflow seems decent, it's not the best airflow, but I mean, hey, it's not a bad little case for the money. This is the, uh, I think it's a Kota. Well, it's like, I think that's like a Japanese uh, male's name, or it might be the Rota. I'm not too sure, but like either way, I mean, they're probably Rota. I mean, new age Japanese names, Rota's probably a name anyway, so, uh, you know, Rota, last name Mazda. Though another question I usually get asked is what about Windows 10? Uh, I have an install USB key, so I'll usually just buy the keys off eBay or wherever for really cheap um, if they don't include the key themselves. I mean, this uh, PC and the other one also included a free copy of Windows 10, so they're already installed on the computers that I bought them with. So Windows 10 is usually tied to the motherboard, and since we're using the same motherboard with the same SSD, we're all good to go. So next up here we have the Fractal Design Focus G and Fractal Design, they've been around for years now. They make very clean looking cases. Build quality's really good. Installation's a breeze. This one's no different. 
Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more cable management options, so it is a little bit compact for a case, but it does look extremely neat. And that's probably my own bad. I should have got a modular power supply. I spent a little bit more money. I could have got the Corsair CX550M. And especially with this case, I wish I did because you can probably see those cables sitting down inside there. They're hiding away there, but I wouldn't have them if I had the uh, Corsair power supply. So but basically with this case, you've got a really hard hitting case for the money, two fans included at the front and just a really clean aesthetic for the money. 85 Australian dollars. You just can't go wrong at this price. Uh, I mean, imagine in the US it'd be even cheaper as well. So really well done here. I don't know which one I like better, the uh, the rotor or the Fractal Design Focus G. Let us know in the comment section below which one you like better. But also another thing I have to do on this computer since it has an Nvidia card, I have to change around the drivers, clean up the drivers with DDU, which is direct driver on installer. It really just cleans out all the previous drivers. Then you can install the Nvidia drivers, but also have to tweak it up, tune it up, and maybe run some temperature tests. Maybe let's test out quickly the Focus G versus the uh, the rotor there. So while those other two PCs are stress testing, these two rigs here, the Shaw power supply and the real low end case, they're not forgotten about. I'm gonna actually reuse them with those two graphics cards that we got before, the R7360s, I think they are. And also Madden, he's donated a heap of memory to the channel and also two one terabyte hard drives. So we're gonna put them to good use in these builds and thank you so much for that. But we also have the motherboard, the cheap motherboard that we picked up in Thailand, the H61. We're gonna use that with an i3, an Ivy Bridge i3, and also another build that I picked up with an i5 2400 and a Z68. We're gonna put both those rigs into these PCs and then we'll have two really uh, budget entry PCs to put up for sale too. So there it is there guys, two PCs are finished. They're two like semi potatoes. I don't know how much I'll sell them for yet, but there's those two done. The fractal case is also done. And then we're actually testing out the little rotor here as well. So we're doing the temperature test now. The fractal define has been finished, the Focus G, and now we're just running this for about half an hour. And we're gonna see how they stack up against each other the two $85 Australian cases. So the results are now in and the Fractal Define R5 after 37 minutes, odd number I know, scored 85 degrees max. And then the Roto on the lowest fan setting, that scored 83 degrees. So it beat it by two degrees. Kind of interesting, I mean, there's not much in it at all. They both got really bad stock Intel heatsink fans, but the Roto's not bad. I mean, I've never heard of this brand before. 85 Australian dollars, it's hitting hard in terms of value for money. So not a bad case, I can recommend both the cases that I've used here today, they're really gonna make these builds look really good and they perform really well too. And yes, the ambient temperatures were the same, but also today I've built four PCs in the afternoon. So I started about two o'clock, as I said before, and that's four PCs that are now ready to be sold. I don't know how much I'll put them up for sale for. Still gotta think about that, but that is one source of income for the channel. And also a big thank you to the guys who are donating parts, whether they're semi broken or broken, I can still use a lot of parts that work and sort of make some magic happen and make builds for people who are looking for value for money PCs, especially compared to going out and buying a new PC. So I think DDR4 RAM prices as well are making the used price performance market so much more attractive as well. So I've noticed that a lot of builds have been selling very easy. As soon as I put them up, they get sold like that. It's crazy. So that's awesome. That's a source of income. And as I said before, the AdSense and the affiliate links and also the pre-rolls and stuff like that, sometimes they come along and they all help support the channel. Now, also another thing I wanted to talk about was the patron update. And it's very silly, especially for those small $1 donations. Essentially, if you guys didn't know, they've um, started to charge the people who are donating money, which helps us out a lot. Thank you guys for the patron support. But they're charging now 35% extra on $1 donations, essentially. So how it works is they're charging like 2.9% plus 35 cents 
to the donator. And so on a $1 donation, that's essentially a 35% hike. And a lot of people are just getting angry. This is just too much. I mean, it's like what? Some people were telling me in the UK and stuff, they get charged 20% VAT as well. So that's like 50% service charges just for a $1 donation. I mean, it's just too much. I mean, I don't even really know what to say about it, except that I will be looking in in the next couple of months. I'm just extremely busy at the moment getting the new studio done, but I will be looking into setting up some sort of like PayPal subscription service where PayPal only charge like 2%. So I will look into getting that done for you guys, maybe link it to the website or something like that. Because yeah, that's just absurd. Those charges for what they're giving is really not worth it. And also what about the new studio itself? It's coming along, we're painting the walls, me and dad man, we're doing the colors and all that ourselves, of course, saving a bit of money. And uh, in the process, we're having a lot of fun just making the studio the way we want it to. It should be completed uh, probably the end of this month. So it will take a little bit longer, but that'll just enable me to have so much more room to work. And I know you guys, I know I've promised videos in the past and I just haven't been able to complete them because I don't have the room to work with. Uh, so once I get that new studio done, all those videos I've promised in the past, they're gonna be coming and they're gonna be coming so hard. The first month I get that studio done, I'm gonna be fulfilling a lot of those promises, so stay tuned. But anyway guys, when it comes down to it, I'm just flat out now, I'm always working, I love the hustle. You guys love the uh, behind the scenes vlogs, that's what a lot of people are telling me. You wanna see more vlogs like this, so if you have any requests, any things you wanna know about, then drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll try and get that done. So what we did today was four PC builds in an afternoon. I've just gotta tune them up, maybe take some photos, put them up for sale, so still gotta do that. But also as well, big thank you to today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. You can get a seven day free trial. Just click the link in the description below or $99 a year. After that seven day trial ends, you can then get access to so many different images, vectors and illustrations. And with that said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. You've always got to stay hungry. If you don't stay hungry, you're gonna get lazy. Also, the crypto video is coming very soon. How did I go over the last six months or five months of mining cryptocurrencies? I'll make a two-part series and the first part will be hitting the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that. I'll talk about all the profits and the money and stuff like that in the first part. Second part, I'll probably talk about some extra stuff. You know, there's this age-old saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's very true in a lot of cases, but around Tech yes, City, one man's trash can be turned into another man's treasure. Yeah, Telstra. Is that the power guy? That's the power guy, yeah. Yeah, uh, just tell him we're with Telstra. Yeah, we're with Telstra. Yeah, they provide us really good power. Yeah. And yeah. they also do us the telephone lines. Yeah, and they do the telephone line too. So, yeah, yeah, Telstra provides it and uh, very high quality power too. Yeah, yeah, the electricity's good, yes, yes. It's coming from Jamaica, isn't it? Yeah, it, apparently uh, they've brought some el electricity in from Jamaica as well, so it's, it's special, it's special power, you know, so.